Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again from Honeybrook, PA, and we are going to do a new project called Holstein the Cat. Now, if you've been following my blog, you know I lost my cat um, uh, last month. He got hit by a car, but he was, we called him the Gentle Giant, and he always looked upward like that, so I decided to make one similar to what he looked like. And it's a good, um, it's a good portrait of him. So um, we're going to go ahead and try to carve up one out of out of a block today. Um, you can start with a straight block of two and a half inches by uh, by one inch, a little shy of the one inch square, like um, an inch and seven eighths uh, would work. And that's what I have here. I sprayed this with the solution of um, of rubbing alcohol and water. The wood's a little bit tough that I had here. Uh, something I had sitting around here. And we are going to go ahead and make him. He's sitting, as you can see, with a little red collar and his a little way at the end of his tail. And uh, we're going to have some fun with him. I'm going to leave this one up on YouTube for a little while and then I'll make a DVD along with another project I have in mind. Um, and it will be uh, DVD number 35 probably coming up. Um, I don't have a pattern for him yet, but it's pretty simple. You can do it strictly from a block. <laughs> I didn't realize this, folks. You know, I do this kind of off the cuff. I don't really edit anything in these videos. And I'm cutting this thing, and I'm thinking, why is this so different? Well, the grain is running. And I didn't see it. It's running this way instead of this way. So when you do it, you want the grain running up and down. Um, up and down the cat, not uh, not sideways. Okay, I prob probably can still carve him out of that. I'm going to try try it anyway, just for fun later on. But when I showed a couple of people this little cat, uh, people really absolutely adored it, and um, they wanted me to make a bunch of ones. So I think I have like three or my two orders anyway for about three or four of these cats. I think one, two, three. So um, <laughs> I better get moving on these. But as you can see, when I did the cutout, I didn't do the ears individually. Um, you don't have to. And if you're doing it from a block, all you would do is cut out the roundness at the top. Um, if you have a bandsaw, uh, it would work a little bit better, but if you don't, it's also fine. You can see where the collar is to the cat. That's where we're going to start. So get your glove on and a thumb guard and have your strop nearby in case you, you need to rehone your, your uh, blade like I'm doing now for a couple of seconds. And what we're going to do, the very first thing we're going to do, um, sometimes when I carve, and I'm going to be very honest with you, I don't know the steps that I take. I just do it, okay? It's just not like, okay, I do this and I do that. Um, I'm so used to just taking a piece and just starting to carve on it. Naturally, I just round it up and, and, um, and I really don't think about it. So I did this head so I would know how to explain it to you folks a little bit better. I also uh, made a side profile of uh, this guy on my printer, uh, my copying machine, he, it's a little bit larger, so you can make it larger. I don't have the um, the pattern yet, but I will uh, very shortly. I haven't gotten around to doing that. I want to get this video up first, and then we'll worry about having a pattern a little bit later. So if you're interested in that, uh, you can email me for it. Um, okay, let's go. Let's start. What we're going to do is we're going to put a, a stop cut. We're going to draw a line all the way around, okay, all the way around. And then it's good to put like a center line in here. Um, and I use this method of holding my finger against the block. And it just gives me a guideline. Uh, this is a little wet yet from spraying it, which is okay. And I'm just doing it in the front. So this portion is the back, and the more of the bow, uh, the more of the curvature is the front. So what we're going to do is we went ahead and put a line across where his where his collar will be, okay? And that's where I start. So let's let's put a stop cut down straight in and then cut from either side to that stop cut. Okay? You're going to do all four corners that way. Do your stop cut first and then bring it in. And 
then another stop cut. This will be the top of the collar, but this gives us an, a guideline where um, where that neck is going to be. And um, we're going to just... I, I do things pretty small so I can show you up close um, on the video um, how things go. Um, I'm going to be very honest with you. It took me a while to figure out how to do the cat. You think it would be a very simple project. Um, it is and it's not because the features to me are not that distinct. So uh, they kind of flow into each other. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me, I guess. But um, what you want to do is just try to cut, keep going all the way around until you have a little circle. So we're just going to keep going here and we're going to just keep chopping out and try to make it kind of even all the way around. And that's okay if we go a little deeper in the back, it's perfectly fine because this is just a guideline. When I cut it out, it's, it's not set in stone, you know. And I'm going to make it very similar to the one I just did. But if it doesn't look exactly the same, that's part of the hand work, the, you know, craft work. Uh, you can get it very similar, but they are one of a kind, you know. So when people say, oh, I want one just like that, sometimes you can't get it exactly the same because they each kind of have their own personality uh, when you carve. You know, each of your pieces will have a different look and, and such on it. And that's what hand work is. You know, everything's not a duplicate of things. They can be similar, but like my Santas, they all look different. Uh, they're similar, but, you know, people look different. It's the same thing. All right, so we're just going to, I'm going to go a little further. See how I'm pushing with my thumb? And the knife I'm using is a Rough Rider knife. I prefer that knife over anything else. <laughs> I got kind of lost the camera there for a minute. Sorry, folks. Anyway, uh -huh. doesn't want to hang around my neck right today. Okay, I'll be right back. 